Hello, I'm Stefan Papadakis with the Rockstar Scion team, and this is Tanner Faust's new ride that we built uh, for 2009. This is a 2009 Scion TC. Uh, big change in this car is it has a V8 in the front as rear-wheel drive. Uh, it's a really cool setup. We actually used the NASCAR uh, V8 uh, out of the NASCAR truck series. Uh, so it's a 5.7 liter naturally aspirated engine, uh, but we actually made a fuel injection. Um, other cool stuff is a lot wider than a stock TC. We run a big tire, a 245 tire in the front, 285 tire in the rear. Uh, other cool stuff is it has all the AEM fuel injection on it, uh, full racing interior, you know, all the cage, uh, you know, Sparco seat, belts, all that kind of good stuff. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, all the suspension and everything, all the Takiko suspension is set up for drift. And uh, plan on, you know, we, last couple of years, Tana's won the championship with Formula Drift and plan on uh, hopefully winning again this year. There's a lot of challenge with converting a front-wheel drive car to a rear-wheel drive car because, I mean, obviously, you know, the drivetrain never went to the rear. Uh, but what we, did, what we did was we made some engine mounts and everything to mount the V8. And then the rear suspension is out of a 94 Toyota Supra uh, twin turbo. So it has a real strong uh, rear end, suspension, axles, all that kind of stuff. And we kept it in the Toyota family. You qualified third, well, that's pretty impressive with the new new car. Um, what are your you know driving style? I mean, how do you have to change your style with this new car? Well, there's a lot more weight up front with this car because of that big engine. And I mean, it just barely fit in the car. And there wasn't a lot of choice on where to put it. So it's. You know, it, it, the car rotates. The part of drifting that's interesting that you don't get in other motorsports is how the car pivots side to side. And where the Z pivoted kind of, uh, if I was sitting in the, the driver's seat, if the pivot point was like right in the center console here, this car pivots up more where the engine is. So the back end swings a lot wider. So I just have to be careful on the transitions not to let the back end swing all the way out to the wall. It's just a adjustment. Plus the steering feels different. Every feels different. So it's a... Uh, it's the stuff I like, is, is being on the steep side of the learning curve, trying to learn the new stuff. So I'm having fun with it. Okay, congratulations, and uh, how do you think you did on your first event? Got to be happy. I mean, got to be happy. I, uh, of course, as a competitor, you always want first, but first run out in the Scion, I mean, I got to be honest, Tuesday I was not uh, real comfortable, so um, the guys really uh, killed it Wednesday and Thursday and put the car together and appeased my, my whims, you know, I guess, but and Friday, and uh, now the cars are great, and, and I think we got a, a really great road ahead of us. We had a lot of uh, one more times, but the car held up. No, uh, no problem about reliability there, right? 
You know, I got more seat time today than all the rest of the days combined. You know, we did at least nine runs just in competition. So doing nine in each run, of course, is two runs. So that's 18 runs in tandem. That's great practice. I mean, I could not, I couldn't pay somebody to come out and spar and give that kind of practice. So I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. And you know, this uh, Toyota uh, NASCAR TRD engine crushed it. The Scion, um, you know, even took a little bit of a bump. And uh, Papadakis Racing put together a phenomenal, strong car. And even with that kind of a bump, which maybe in the Z would have meant some fixing, no problem, just to pop the bumper off. And so I think for the Rockstar Scion, it's a great debut. How about looking forward to uh, round two? All right, round two, Atlanta. This is the place where you can push a little bit harder, speed's a little bit more important. Reese's car is going to be suited perfectly for that with its longer wheelbase. Uh, and torque is king, and that's one thing that I'm fighting to, to get more. You wouldn't believe it with a NASCAR engine, but um, th this thing wraps up to 9,000 RPM, and all that power is up high. So um, it's going to be an interesting race for us in, in Atlanta, an interesting event. And, uh, you know, with Ryan and Samuel uh, up, you know, they're in their the old hats, you know. Viper and, and uh, new and improved Scion can be absolutely tough to beat, but I think a new person is probably going to win every single round of, of this series. It's that competitive. Well, congratulations on your uh, podium finish. Thanks, Tara. Thank you very much.